New research just dropped, and it's shaking up everything we thought we knew about interstellar visitors. The mysterious object known as 3I Atlas isn't just drifting through space, it's way bigger and heavier than scientists ever imagined. This thing isn't your regular frozen rock. It's a cosmic heavyweight cruising through our solar system with serious power. So, just how massive is 3I Atlas? Measuring the true size of a comet sounds easy, but it's actually one of the hardest challenges in astronomy. When a comet moves closer to the sun, its icy surface begins to vaporize, releasing gases that drag clouds of dust along with it. Creating that glowing tail, we see streaking across the sky. But here's the catch. That bright glow can make it look way larger than it really is. The hazy coma surrounding the solid core tricks, even the sharpest telescopes. To get real answers, a team from Harvard University, led by Richard C. Day, Avi Loeb, and Peter Resch, analyzed data on 3I Atlas, gathered from 227 observatories worldwide between May 15th and September 23rd. That's a global science squad tracking one single traveler from the depths of space. They fed all this data into the Minor Planet Center and compared the object's actual movement to what would happen if only gravity was pulling on it. And the results were shocking. They found a slight, almost ghostly push, less than 15 meters per day squared, that hinted something strange was going on. Normally, comets with active gas jets get a noticeable nudge as they spit material into space. But in Atlas's case, the movement was way too small. Uh, from images, we also saw that this object is active, which means that around the nucleus there is some coma, which is an indication that this object is in fact a coma. That means one thing. Its nucleus is insanely heavy. So dense, it barely budges even when gas jets blast off the surface. Based on the calculations, scientists now estimate the comet's solid core weighs a jaw-dropping 33 billion tons with a diameter of around 5 kilometers. That's like a mountain drifting through the stars, and it gets crazier. The surrounding coma could be up to five orders of magnitude more massive than any interstellar object we've ever seen before. Harvard's A.V. Loeb even suggested something wild. If interstellar space is full of small, random debris, why haven't we seen more of those before spotting this massive beast? Maybe, just maybe, 3I Atlas isn't just another frozen traveler. Maybe it's something far more extraordinary. And that's where things get really wild, because we haven't seen anything quite like this before. 3I Atlas stands out as a massive, mysterious outlier in every sense. Avi Loeb, never one to shy away from bold theories, has even hinted at a jaw-dropping possibility. What if this thing isn't natural at all? He's pointed to its enormous mass its eerily precise trajectory, and even a rumored trace of nickel without iron, a combo almost unheard of in natural space rocks. Loeb calls these details provocative hints, and they've got the scientific world buzzing. But NASA's response? Calm down. For now, officials are playing it safe, reminding everyone that the most likely explanation is still a natural one. According to their labs, the odds lean toward 3I Atlas being a strange but organic object from deep space not some alien tech drifting through our system. Still, the speculation refuses to die down, because what if there's more to this story than meets the eye? Enter astrophysicist Suzanne Nares, who's flipping the conversation completely. She isn't asking what Atlas is, she's asking why it's here. Her idea? Absolutely stunning. She believes 3i Atlas could be a planet-making seed. Yeah, you heard that right. Not just a visitor, but a possible cosmic trigger that helps create entire worlds. So let's imagine it, a young star surrounded by a swirling disk of dust and gas. In this celestial nursery, tiny particles collide, stick, and grow. Dust turns into pebbles, pebbles into boulders, and eventually into planetary embryos. Over time, these clumps evolve into the massive worlds that orbit their stars. It sounds elegant, but there's a serious issue scientists have been struggling with, the timing. These protoplanetary disks don't last long, only a few million years before the gas evaporates into space. That's barely enough time to form something as enormous as Jupiter or Saturn. So how did those giants come together so fast? That's where Nir's theory drops the mic. She suggests that interstellar objects like 3I Atlas might crash into these young systems, acting as ready-made cores. Instead of starting from dust, the disk suddenly has a solid foundation, a planet starter kit falling right out of the galaxy. From there, the process could explode into action. The seed starts pulling in gas, 
dust, and rock at lightning speed, snowballing into a planet before the disk fades away. Computer simulations back this up too. NIR's models show that larger stars and the ones that shine brighter and burn faster are much better at capturing interstellar objects than small ones. And guess what? Those same large stars are also the ones surrounded by the biggest gas giants. The pattern is too perfect to ignore. If she's right, then objects like Oumuamua, Borisov, and now Atlas aren't random drifters at all. They're the cosmic matchsticks that spark the birth of new solar systems. Some may have ignited worlds far across the galaxy, and some might have even played a part in building our own. It's a daring idea, unproven but thrilling. Just like Loeb's theories, it sits on the edge between science and speculation. These interstellar wanderers are elusive. They appear out of nowhere, race across the sky, and vanish into the dark before we can fully study them. But this time, things are different. We spotted 3 I Atlas early, and with modern telescopes tracking its every move, humanity might finally uncover what this giant really is, before it slips back into the void. The countdown is officially on. The European Space Agency is gearing up for something truly historic, Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace. Gas Orbiter are being prepped to capture the closest, most detailed look we've ever had at an interstellar object. These spacecraft are set to lock onto 3I Atlas this October 2025, as it drifts past Mars, turning the red planet into humanity's front row seat for a once-in-a-lifetime show. This isn't just another flyby. It's our chance to study an object that doesn't even belong to our solar system. Whether the view comes from Mars orbit or powerful telescopes on Earth, scientists are ready to collect every bit of data they can get. Over the next few months, 3I Atlas will blaze across our neighborhood, and astronomers have already marked the key dates, milestones that could rewrite what we know about interstellar visitors forever. October 3rd, 2025, the Mars flyby. Just after sunrise over Valles Marineris, Atlas will sweep past Mars at a distance of just 18 million miles. That's cosmic hair thin when it comes to space. From orbit, NASA's MAVEN and Tianwen-1 are expected to catch the first close-up glow of its dusty coma a faint pink shimmer rising with the Martian dawn. Imagine standing on that red desert, watching a comet from another star streak through the skies. Unreal. October 29th, 2025. Perihelion. Four weeks later, Atlas will swing behind the sun, diving to just 1.36 astronomical units, roughly 130 million miles from our star's surface. At that moment, its speed will surge past 152,000 miles per hour. That's faster than anything humanity has ever built. It'll vanish behind the blinding solar glare, invisible to Earth-based telescopes, but not to those on Mars or the solar-watching observatories at L1. There, instruments will keep tracking as jets of vapor blast from its sun-heated crust, spraying dust and plasma into space. December 19, 2025, Earth Distance Check. By late December, Atlas will finally reappear, sailing 170 million miles from Earth too far to see with the naked eye, but close enough for the James Webb Telescope and Vera Rubin Observatory to scan its glowing coma for isotopic fingerprints. Every trace of gas, every dust particle could reveal where this traveler was born. Another system, another star, maybe another galaxy. March 16, 2026, Jupiter Pass, the final act. 3I Atlas will make its last known approach, a breathtaking glide just 33 million miles above Jupiter's massive cloud tops. If NASA gives the green light, the Juno spacecraft could adjust its course to intercept the comet's dust stream, giving us humanity's first up-close sample of material forged beyond the sun itself. And then, just like that, it'll be gone. 3I Atlas will drift back into the endless dark between stars, leaving us with terabytes of priceless data and a mountain of unanswered questions. Could it truly be natural? Could it hold clues about planet formation or something even stranger? One thing's for sure, it unfolds. This visitor has changed how we look at the cosmos forever. So what do you think 3i Atlas really is? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I wanna hear your theories. And if you enjoyed this deep space breakdown, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the community for more wild cosmic stories just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.